said that the buzz isn't really playing Min Min that much anyway mm -hmm. right now. So Rose is definitely going to be the pick as we go into this game one. I think the biggest thing that I'm like envisioning when I think about this matchup is just the three blocks right by the ledge and she's just not able to recover. So oh, yeah. Like right into it. Like the little horizontal line. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of just kills her. You're right. Or she recovers high and gets punished hard, so. But it looks like Lima's, er, Lima, Luma. Luma is doing all of the work right now. Wait, Frank modders, <laughs> you have to mod Please. Lima onto Luma. I'm begging you. That would oh be just like gosh. Lima's just floating head as Luma would be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Rosalina and Lima. <laughs> But anyway, Luma is doing all the work of breaking down those blocks, and it's nice to have like a non-committal way to try to contest against those, but it should not be very hard for Onan to kill Luma either. Mm -hmm. And so if they're just able to, to smack Luma off stage or do a ton of damage, which Steve does not struggle with, um, it's going to be really hard for, for Rosalina to deal with those, those walls. But we're not even really seeing that right now. Onan just going for grabs instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and of course, that's the death trap over there. One block at the back of um, Steve's head. Of course, they throw you on it. You either tech and you don't tech and you die, or you do tech and you get F smash. So, of course, the buzz definitely gonna you know stay away from that. I'm uh, on to you. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this before. Oh, what do you do about this? Especially with no uh, Luma, that's gotta be really tough. Great uh, pause to fall in with that neutral air to like interrupt that situation. Mm -hmm. But if Steve just fully builds a house with that platform and is just kind of like waiting with up smash, there's not a lot you can do about it. Yeah, and you can definitely tell that Buzz is looking for that back air, able to find it, but not gonna kill. And wow. oh my gosh, yeah, those, those blocks coming super in clutch for Onan, but that Nair gonna be able to find that first stock finally. This is really scary. Steve coming off the respawn platform with the uh, the invincibility. That was so sad. Just tagged her in the face. <laughs> Just no. no. Away. And are we seeing it? Wow. What, what do expecting? you do? But OK, that works too. Dropping the anvil onto Buzz's head for trying to recover too. I think this is another example of like a recovery that's pretty reliable for making it back to the ledge, but very susceptible to those those offstage punishes. And uh, Odin showcasing that pretty perfectly there with that setup. I literally just went like Doctor Strange mode and was trying to think of any scenario where Rosa <laughs> does not die in that situation. That's I mean, when it's tough. untackable, I think you're just kind of screwed. Mm -hmm. But all that aside, uh, the buzz still keeping up. You know, damage is still relatively close between them. Like, the buzz still getting some really solid combos. Oh, but Luma's going to get out of there. Onan is very focused on making sure Luma's out of there. And that, that is something that we haven't seen everybody going for against the buzz. So, good presence of mind. But other than that, the buzz. Ooh, not too far out of this just yet. I like that drag down there, recognizing that the block was there and able to get a lot of damage off of that multi jab instead. Mm hmm. Okay, but DeBuzz locked down on center stage, but that burst option of the minecart gonna be super strong. Lots of knockback sending DeBuzz off stage, and this is uh, what? Okay. okay. We, we, we're we <laughs> we're watching it in real time. We're like, chat, I don't really, <laughs> I don't know what angle she needs to I pick here. I feel like I'm watching somebody solve a Rubik's Cube, and they're just like one <laughs> step ahead of me, so I'm like trying to watch what they're doing to like learn from them, because like, the Buzz's recoveries have been really good, but Onan's ledge traps are just insane. My goodness, and they're only gonna get crazier as the set goes on. But Onan, that's so smart. Yeah, Onan getting a huge punish for that minecart, and honestly, that's probably really tough to deal with this Rosa if you don't have like down B ready, because you know it could hit you, it could interfere with Luma. Really, just makes things tricky. What was so smart about that from Onan was. Um, Pretty consistently, DeBuzz is using the down B to suck up the minecart, mm -hmm. but Onan can just stay in the minecart a little bit longer and use it as like a burst option. Oh. And I don't think that Rose is able to suck it up if uh, Steve is still in the minecart. Yeah. And then Onan is also like mixing up the timing of when they get out of the minecart too, to like either um, catch DeBuzz off guard, to like mix up the timing of the, the down B, or just to like straight up hit them with it. And uh, that was super smart though. Wow, yeah. Because it becomes like a 50 50. Because she can yeah. beat it with like Luma up air, but. The buzz has to know which one's happening. So yeah, yeah good call out there. So now 40% between us. <laughs> Odin got Bro. diamond. This is this is scary. The buzz does have the lead technically, but <gasps> and mm. secures the game with that neutral air double jump up air combo. Great work from the buzz. I that that. could have gone either way. Yeah, that spacing was fantastic from the buzz too, using the floatiness of Rosalina to his advantage, just kind of jumping out of the range of Onan and then getting the optimal punish there with the the combo into up air too. So really good stuff to the buzz. But that was very close and especially. Especially when you have uh, that diamond online. Um, Onan is a demon with that, so definitely have to watch out for that. That was a lot closer than it might have seen with percents, but I'm excited to see the rest of this set because these guys are beef. 
Yeah. They're scrapping. They are really fighting. You you actually would expect both these characters to like mostly kind of like camp because they're both so good at it, but no, they're just they're like, okay, neither was really getting anything out of camp, and so like put your hands up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like put your hands up, we fight you. Okay. Tries to find the down air there, but not able to find it. And this is going to be a ton of damage for Onan, but Luma coming in clutch, um, allowing for Debus to grab the ledge before Onan is able to get that ledge trap that we've been seeing. Using the up smash on the minecart too, just immediately going to break it. Yeah, and I think the extra hit stun from hitting both of them has kind of thrown off uh, Onan's combos a little bit too. Like there's times like back air just gets stuck a little bit tagging Luma and like, that's not bad. You still want to do damage to Luma, but it's not the optimal combo you might have been looking for prior. There's that drag down again, too. I really like that from the buzz. Not able to find anything off of it, but definitely something to keep in the back pocket. Um, maybe able to do like a drag down into F Smash or something like that, too, to find Onan's stock. Mm -hmm. Right now, trying to use the up air. Instead, though, Onan feeling really comfortable on the platforms, but I love that anti air with the uh, the up smash to find the buzz's first stock. Yeah, fantastic play right there from Onan. So at this point, the buzz firing <laughs> back, using the blocks against Onan to get that Luma down smash. Really smart stuff. No extra credit for Onan. Okay, but Luma knocked off stage, so now this is the time for Onan to get in. Has the diamond um, pickaxe as well, so getting a lot of damage off of that and lots of knockback too. Ooh. Forcing the high recovery and just able to swing over and over again, and there's not really much that the Buzz can do about it. Mm -hmm. Like, the Buzz has done a pretty good job of landing with those aerials, like on top of Steve and not get punished, which is not something you get to do very often, so shout outs to the Buzz for that. But yeah, Onan definitely just got a ton of damage right there in that last exchange. Okay, and then placing the block, just trying to get as many resources as possible. Doesn't have a lot of iron right now, so definitely looking for that so that they can get that minecart. Mm -hmm. And again, just consistently trying to mine for that iron. Yeah, that minecart was really, really important because like without being able to like mix up your like horizontal approaches with minecart, the buzz can do a lot. Like especially like Luma back here, that cuts off a lot of space that, space that uh, Steve needs. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> Got a little extra charge on that. Just waited for Debus to fall out of that minecart. And a really smart play there from Onen, just choosing to stay on the platform instead. Sitting at 98%, though, looking for this up tilt to get a combo started. But Debus really good at spacing these back airs, too. All right, we're starting to see some more combos coming out of Onen here. Uh, just barely avoiding that up smash and getting a giant punish for it. Diamond Ooh, up smash okay. for Max Rage probably would have killed Rosalina, but Debus fires back with that up air and stays alive. Right. Oh, that was a weird interaction. It looked like it had hit off the shield for a second, but... Mm -hmm. Okay, Onan, again, mining for some more resources, able to use that, that pickaxe, the back air with the diamond. Super strong knockback on that. And now the buzz kind of stuck at the ledge. There and yeah, it it's so hard to contest against. Able to hold on to the stock a little bit longer, retreats to the top platform too, but this is looking really scary. Yeah, and I, I definitely think, uh, like, the buzz is very well aware, like, I'm not even going to risk going low. Like, the risk reward is just not even worth it. So, opting to go high, opting to land on that top platform, and Ooh. definitely making Odin, like, rethink about their ledge traps here. But, uh, percent's getting pretty close. Uh, the buzz could squeak by with another dub if he's really careful. But these back airs and S smashes from Steve are such a huge threat. You cannot afford any trades. Yeah, just dancing on these platforms. Doesn't want to commit to anything. Trying to find this back air. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Oh, it's just standing there. Menacingly, but has no materials right now. So has to be extra careful. Onan Ooh. has to just go in and try to find like an F smash or a back air or something. Because other than that, my car's not going to be uh, online. There are zero blocks in the queue. Yeah, no resources. So not able to use like a, an anvil to catch the buzz <gasps> off guard. And yeah, just runs up with the up smash there. That's so scary because like, Rosalina up air is such a large hitbox, and a lot of the time you can catch her off guard with the anvil, but if you have no resources, you're kind of screwed. You can't even use like the blocks to stall or anything like that. So mm -hmm. that was a rough situation despite having, it was literally just like diamond pickaxe was Onan's saving grace and it just did not come in clutch there. The buzz's spacing was so good, just avoiding all of the, uh, the aerials that Onan was throwing out. Yeah, so now we are, uh... We're in a game three scenario where the buzz is up 2-0 against Onan. I mean, very, very close games with the buzz. Definitely keeps coming out ahead. I love the way that he punished that get up attack too, because obviously if you neutral get up, Luma will kill you with a, like a smash attack. So you can't take the risk. You have to get rid of that character. But with no materials on deck, Onan just was kind of forced to panic because there wasn't much of a better option. So great presence of mind from the buzz to just, again, stay patient and just find a really, really good punish. 
Yeah, and I think another big adaptation that I'm seeing from DeBuzz is um, waiting for Onan to jump out of the minecart and then finding the back air. Just waiting and being very patient with that. Oh my gosh, that's so scary up there. I thought a robbery was happening. I got scared. <laughs> I mean, there's so much knockback on that that it could definitely kill you, even at such a low percent. Mm -hmm. Okay, but Onan just smacking Luma off stage. Debuzz able to find that up smash, but okay. Huh, TNT are didn't... you are you able to? What are the rules? What are the what, rules? What is... <laughs> Get away from there! <laughs> I like to Debuzz like you know what? I'm not even gonna try that again. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't want to risk Ooh, it. Ooh, okay, gets the follow up doing some some combos off the wall. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, but not able to find that up smash just because of Onan being on the opposite side. Nice. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great back here right there. Even, I think, if the minecart had come out, that the exchange probably would have worked out for DeBuzz. So DeBuzz got another lead here. We're seeing a lot of mileage with DeBuzz as far as, like, getting up smash out of shield. You know, Anvil hasn't been, like, a very big problem, which normally that's, like, a super Ooh. important Steve move. So uh, DeBuzz playing really great in game three here. Yeah, the spacing from the buzz has been phenomenal. Oh my gosh, I said it again. I need you to like slap me every time I say that word. No, no, no. The spacing from the buzz has been. It phenomenal. has been. I mean, so good at just avoading the uh, the minecart and a lot of these hitboxes that we're seeing be thrown out from Onan. Mm -hmm. Playing super patient here. Like that's so good. Even though uh, they did trade there, like just smacking Onan out of the minecart is conditioning them to no longer use it in those situations too, which is making it a lot easier to uh, to box against them in this like very close quarters. I love sending Luma over the wall being like, I'm tired of trading with you. Yeah. I'm gonna send Luma. Luma, you do what you can, okay? That's what I said. That's like Rose's little soldier just mm -hmm. in there fighting all the battles. Is this man bothering you? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> okay. Choosing to use the block there to recover back to center stage, but trapped in between right. Rosa and Luma is not a good place to be, especially at 122. Onan retreating to the ledge and Stepa gonna die off the top there. And DeBuzz still holding on to his first stock. Yeah, playing for. Oh, you made me do it. No. It's I'm sorry, DeBuzz. DeBuzz, listen to me. You're playing <laughs> phenomenal. We can't not talk about it. <laughs> But yeah, Onan finally getting a stock there, just kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place with just two people just looming with those up smashes at those kill percent. So very difficult for, don't do it. Very <laughs> difficult for uh, Onan to navigate that scenario. <laughs> All right, we do at least have Luma off deck, but the buzz has gotten such a crazy amount of mileage off just up smash out of shield. I didn't realize like, I don't look at Steve's aerials as something like unsafe to punish on shield, but the buzz is really showing us that we can fight back a little harder in those scenarios. Her dress is a little too big to fit between that, that gap block mm -hmm. there, but still making it back to stage. And Onan just disengaging, running to the other side of the stage, trying to get some better resources, get some more iron as well. Only has one block of iron right now. So definitely needs to find more to have these kill options like the anvil and the minecart. Yeah, this is looking really, really good for DeBuzz. Minecart Ooh. almost! Oh yeah, okay, yep. it is gonna lead to the kill after all. So DeBuzz down to his last stock, still got a huge percent lead here. Uh, let's see what Onan starts cooking. 57% off the Angel Plat. Hey, oh, this could be bad. This is crazy. Yeah, smash. Three to one comeback with the stocks is crazy, but Steve is such a strong character that Onan can definitely do it. Oh. Especially with Diamond online right now. Yeah. Luma no longer on stage either. I'd say this, this is, is like Onan's favorite. This worst case actually. scenario for DeBuzz right now. DeBuzz is like, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. <laughs> Ooh! Okay. Ouch, yeah, that anvil was placed so well. And what I love about it is that we saw in the first game, DeBuzz is like, all right, this block is here. I have to recover from it an extremely specific angle yep. to not get gimped. And Onan both times just like, I know you can only go right here and it's just put Anvil there both times and got a stock, you know, both times for it. Yeah. So great comeback from Onan, three stock comeback. That was very challenging. I think the buzz is playing around Steve so well. My like an almost non-factor in a lot of situations. Yeah. I think Rosa back air is stuffing it out. I think neutral air is like winning and like clanking. So the buzz is playing this very well against, you know, like a top two Steve in the world. So, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And the buzz has always been very studied and it's really paying off right now. Three, two, one, I need water. Go! Water. Water. 
Yeah, I think the biggest thing too is like um, Luma being able to kind of poke at Onan and not letting them mine a lot of resources. Like there have been so many times where Onan doesn't have a lot of iron and has to like retreat to the other side of the stage to try to mine some. And um, Debuzz is just doing a great job of just making it really hard to, to have those resources on lock. Mm -hmm. Which is so important when you're Steve too. Like the iron is probably, other than diamond, the most important thing to look for, so. All right, okay. Okay, okay. Onan, um, Jesus, didn't kill with the uh, blocks there, but TNT gonna do it. I think it might've been because they're dirt, so the mm -hmm. the hitbox of the up went like through it or something, but I think I have seen it gimp before if it's like a stronger resource. Yeah, I think once it gets to like uh, stone and you know everything further, it'll probably start gimping. But yeah, I guess you can make it through the dirt blocks. But Onan off to a good start here. Yeah, this is looking good for Onan, especially with that wall behind them. Just being able to use that is like a nice a way to avoid getting killed or sent off stage, but able to take Luma off stage. And again, just continuing to disengage, looking for those resources. Ooh, this is scary. It's it, a buzz with the back air. It is very scary. And now we're starting to see some conditioning come into play because Onan like instinctively spot dodge as soon as they hit the buzz's shield because there's been so many up smashes. But now the buzz is like, Oh, cool, you're aware of this and is getting throws to punish instead. So Onan just going to have to be extra, extra careful when it comes to interacting with the Buzz's shield. But other than that, still doing really, really solid in game four. And Onan's block placement has been so good, too, because a lot of the time they'll get, like, ricocheted off of it and then mm -hmm. sent straight up, where, like, the knockback typically would have killed. But just because they got ricocheted so much, it, like, slowed the momentum enough that they were managing to live a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be super important. Yeah, Ooh. all right, and now we're just kind of creating like a jungle gym around oh my gosh. Uh, Onan, just putting up a bunch of walls, forcing uh, Rosa to take her time to get through it. Now, Luma does look like he kind of pierces and goes pretty far past the wall, so definitely you can't stay in there as, you know, safely as you normally would, but either way, Onan still holding down this lead, getting a great punish with that forward air, and just trying to find some way to secure the second stop. Look at those resources for Onan, too. So much iron, so this mm -hmm. is a good position for Onan for sure. Okay, but slowly running out of them, playing a little bit too much off stage and now pretty low on resources. So the buzz can keep Onan locked at the ledge here, choosing to use the Luma to poke instead. And again, just so consistent with catching Onan, jumping out of the minecart and uh, finding that back here. Mm -hmm. The buzz kind of clawing his way back here though. Now only 40% separating them. Uh, Onan does have diamond on deck and diamond mine. So this is very bad for Rosa. Cause that means these next two stocks will have a diamond no matter what happens from here on out. And uh, obviously very light, so Diamond back here probably kills right now, even as her Sage. So. How did she manage to land on top of the anvil? I feel like most of the time you like see it hit their shield and do a ton of shield damage, mm -hmm. but she was actually on top of it. Instead. She pulled her dress up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> she said, excuse me. <laughs> oh, just gonna sneak right past this. <laughs> Is, Is Rosa from the Midwest? She's from the Midwest, yeah. <laughs> She makes a mean skyline dip, I tell you what. Oh, so true. Mm -hmm. Seven layer bean dip go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, footstool dare, tried and true uh, Steve punish. So now we do have our socks even here. Uh, again, I love the way that the buzz is just using that side beat to just kind of contest with mine cart. Like, it's so easy to just mine cart without really thinking about it too much because there's very little that gets done about it. But the buzz is really showing us some very, very, very good Steve counterplay. Like study, study this set if you want to know about what, well, what you can be doing against Steve. For sure. And this is potentially um, Onan's last winner's stock if DeBuzz is able to take this um, this game and cement themselves in grand final. So Onan definitely needs to clutch up here. Having Diamond online is going to be very beneficial, but mm -hmm. DeBuzz just playing super patient and outside of uh, the burst range of Onan and that minecart. Ooh. <laughs> Using that block to get some extra distance was very, very smart Ooh. Onan. Great punish though, going for the forward air to cover like low and high with the block kind of like trapping Onan in position. Now we're only 10% away. Will this be the one that gimps? No, yet again, the buzz has really found those recovery angles, but every single time the buzz makes like a freaky recovery, Onan just punishes how the buzz gets back on the stage. Are we delusional? Does that not work? I thought that works. I know, I've seen it work. I've seen it happen. I'm gaslighting myself. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Well, either way, the buzz has found the answer. There must be like a specific angle you can hit or maybe- An input you can do on your controller <laughs> makes it break through the <laughs> Wiggle <box>. the stick! <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole mini game the buzz is playing that we just don't know about. But yeah, uh, so far it has not given Rosa. It still leads to a stock because of owner's like reaction, but yeah, hasn't killed yet. Three.
All right, winners of finals game five. Who will it be? Will it be Onan? Will it be the Buzz? Chat, hit us a, with a one for Onan and a two for the Buzz. Who is going to be sitting in grands? I don't know. I'm ready to find out. But right now, the Buzz making a great case for himself, especially with those neutral air combos. Really, really showing us some solid aggression from Rosalina. But Onan, I think, yeah, Onan is the last person representing the Midwest, too. So definitely wants to hold it down for everybody here in the Midwest mm -hmm. against all of these invaders. And game five, this is so stressful, too. Yeah, I, I like that the minecart at least trapped the buzz a little bit to kind of give Onan some breathing room but the damage output is just going way in the buzz's favor so far. And we also haven't seen a lot of nil ladders. I'm not sure if that's because of like Rose's floatiness or what the reason might be, but that's normally like the tried and true main way you see Steve rack up damage. Pull out the PMLG, we won't tell. Uh, I will. <laughs> Officer! <laughs> they did it, they're right there. I'm, I'm big snitching. Ooh, like every time I say that. Ooh, I'm telling. Uh, but yeah, here we go. 30% separating them. Onan, once again, putting up those walls, as I do as well, you know, emotionally. <laughs> just make it, make it short. Up, bro. <laughs> just making it tough for uh, the buzz to approach. Not able to secure the stock yet, but that diamond ba <laughs> back here will do it. <laughs> I haven't seen my therapist in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to send them this ball. <laughs> He's gonna be like, you, you might want to start paying for extra sessions. That's fine. I get it. <laughs> so, game uh, five, really starting to fall away into uh, Onan's favor here. DeBuzz struggling to try to take this stock, nearly getting lapped at percent already. Just came back and already at 89. Wow, I love that bait. Yeah. Just kind of like waiting and just trying to force DeBuzz to choose something um, to get punished. Odin might be able to do this. This is a really, really big lead. But only has the wood online right now, too. Mm -hmm. Needs to get some better resources. Able to fish for that, that back air and find it. And now kind of building that wall at the ledge to try to mine for some more resources. But the, the buzz is just doing a great job of sharking with the back air, but instead going for the tomahawk grab there instead. Still not able to find the stock, though. <gasps> Yeah, the buzz kind of floundering. Okay, does find that up smash, that back hit of it is definitely like a wonky angle to DI whether you did or didn't have a high percent. So the buzz keeping alive here, but just took so much. 70% uh, got two full Onan socks to take. I think Onan might be able to hold it down for the Midwest. Ooh. Okay, finds the F smash there. Again, finding that back air out of the mine cart, trying to use that Nair to cover the platform too. But uh, Onan is also able to use the the blocks to build an additional platform if they need to as well. I like the way the buzz is playing though, using the terrain against Onan, finding some extensions with the blocks there. Great presence of mind, almost killing with that back air, especially on Town and City, but Onan's gonna live another day. Yeah, nice wave lane there Ooh. to avoid it. And the down smash gonna send Onan right back to the platform where they're comfortable, but again, not a lot of resources, does not have the mine cart to get out of the corner anymore. Nice. And that down smash gonna catch the neutral get up. The buzz hitting at 90% though. Ooh, okay. Manages to avoid the, the extra shield damage from that anvil though. Mm. All right, the buzz made huge comebacks here. I think Diamond might be offline as well, so probably gonna live a little bit longer. Like the buzz loses uh, an air to air exchange here. Mm -hmm. Not too much longer, but either way, the buzz definitely just trying to stay safe. I think Odin, instead of like rushing in haphazardly, would rather just get materials. And now we have Diamond, so now the buzz once again in a crazy amount of danger. Yeah, that was a scary situation for Odin there because they only had the wood tools, and then also the crafting table was in the middle of the stage, too, right where the oh. buzz was. So building that wall and then moving the crafting table and getting that. Um, Diamond is a huge game changer here. Now it's going to be so hard to land or even try to get towards center stage as the buzz when you have to contest against that giant Diamond back air. Dash attack almost killing off the side there as well and placing those blocks to get rid of the low recovery and Onan going to take that. Was that a reverse 3-0? Uh, yes, that was a reverse 3-0 over Team Liquid the buzz. Onan making an incredible, incredible win right there. Definitely want that on your stamp, you know, your uh, whatever ranking system uh, to say like, yo, I was able to like beat the buzz uh, twice. Twice now. By the way, two wins on the buzz. So definitely repping for the Midwest, Midwest big time. Midwest, I'm tired. Midwest, it's nine. <laughs> Midwest, <laughs> Midwest, Midbest. That's fine. You're trying your best, girl. Yeah, I got tongue tied. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, yeah, great stuff to Onan. I think the buzz. Played so strong the whole set. Such a good bait. Had some crazy adaptations. They had some really, really good counterplay. I feel a little bad because I was like, study the set if you want to know how to beat Steve, y'all. And then the buzz lost. But like, still, still, he played it really well. I mean, well. that just goes to show that uncontested best character in the game, I think. I personally. think her scooting from the bottom and kind of riding up instead of like 
going straight to it is maybe the reason she's able to live that. Gotcha. I don't know. Because the buzz is kind of like riding the stage, so maybe there's just a weird interaction there. But yeah, anyway. Like the hairspray in her hair is like so hard that it breaks the blocks behind her. Maybe. <laughs> hard wigs off life. <laughs> <laughs>